In this video, I'm going to walk you through an edit, a map edit on OpenStreetMaps and show you what it's all about. So, we're just going to go to OpenStreetMap. Uh, the address is OpenStreetMap.org, or you can just search it on Google like I just did. I'm going to assume you're already a little bit familiar with OpenStreetMap and what it is and why it's so cool. But if not, you can watch some of my other videos where I talk about that. So this is OpenStreetMap. I'm just going to zoom in here to an area in Idaho that I'm familiar with. And this is Driggs, Idaho. Also, it's an area that does not have much map data yet inputted by users. Because OpenStreetMap, if you're not aware yet, it is um, all or most of the data has been contributed by volunteers like me and like you, hopefully, who uh, volunteer to edit and input data from their local areas. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've already logged in. I've got my login ID up here, and I've already uh, created an account and logged in. But before you can edit, that's what you need to do. And then once you get to the area you want to edit, you will just click on Edit. And what this does, it actually connects you to Microsoft's Bing Maps, um, and it pulls their, it, they have an agreement, OpenStreetMap has an agreement with Microsoft to use their satellite imagery, which makes it really nice for uh, tracing and for making sure that you're drawing map items where they really exist or roughly exist uh, in the world. So if we look here, it looks like um, I think what happened is OpenStreetMap when they very when they got all their rough data, they had the computer software and algorithms go through and draw what they think was roads. And this actually looks like it is some kind of a two vehicle tires driving out in a field. But this isn't really a road, and this is I think this is private property. So I'm just going to click on this item and then go to Delete Object Permanently. So I just made a change on OpenStreetMaps. Th this road is not going to, as soon as I click Save up here, that road is not going to appear. And we don't want these to appear either. This is some poor farmer that doesn't want people driving through his, his uh, private property. So we're going to delete all these, because these are just private dirt roads that aren't, aren't really roads. This is property on, on his farm. OK. Um, another edit we could do, if we wanted to, we could click on this Ross Avenue. Let's say that it was not labeled correctly. So if we click on any object in OpenStreetMaps, on the left-hand side it shows us uh, the attributes of that object. So this is a line, this object is, and the name of this line is Ross Avenue. And the attributes of this line is that it's a residential road. And we could also say that it's a one-way road, but it's not... I mean, we're not going to say that because it's not. But we can say that with a speed limit on it, we could say that it's a bridge or a tunnel, it, it, that it's an embarkment, um, access, motor vehicle, yes, bicycles, yes, horses, yes. Um, we could tag this as asphalt because it is. So, all right. So that's one thing you can do: um, make changes to the to the roads. We could also draw a road if we wanted to. We could draw in a road. Like this is a parking lot, but if it were a road, we could actually click on the line tool and then left click on an existing road and then left click on the, this other part of the existing road and then push enter. And now we've got an item here or a, uh, an object, a line object, I guess you can call it. And we will say this is a road. This is a residential road. So now I've created a new residential road that I'm really going to delete. I'm just showing you this for an example. We would, if it had a name, we would name this road and say, put in the information about it, okay? But now, since I don't want it to really be here, I'm just going to push delete. Click on it, and I can either push the delete key or click the delete uh, button. Okay, how about uh, an area? So I'll show you an area real quick. We'll click on the area tool, and we'll do this area here, which is a tennis court. So I will click four times, just left clicking, and when I'm done, I will push enter, and that um, finishes the editing of this object, or the drawing of this, the tracing of this object. Then if I click again anywhere on the object, I get all these options. I can delete it, I can make it a circle, which I don't want to do, so I'll push control Z on the keyboard to undo that. If I click again, it gives me the options again. I can move it. So I can then move this object, but I don't want to because it's right where I wanted it in the first place. 
I can click on it and I can square it up, square the corners of this area. That's one I do all the time when I'm tracing because most things are square, roofs of buildings or uh, t t t uh, tennis court like I'm doing here. Um, and one other thing we can do is we can rotate it. So if we wanted to rotate it, we could do that. Anyway, now uh, anyway, so I just drew this object, but OpenStreetMap does not know what this object is. So I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to go over here in the search and I'm going to say this is a tennis court. So I just type in tennis and it says, is it a tennis court? Is it a dentist, a therapist office, a department store? No, it's a tennis court. So left click. And now it, the name of this, it's probably called Teton High School Tennis Court. But I'm not going to name it because I don't know for sure. Um, it is paved, I think, with asphalt. But again, I don't know for sure. So I'm going to just leave that unknown. And lighting, I don't know if it's lit or not. So I'm not going to fill in anything else. I'll just leave it as a tennis court. Well, there we go. Um, hopefully this gives you an idea of the things you can do, of some of the edits you can make, and it, it hopefully it gives you enough information to get started on your own. So I would encourage you to do that. Go to openstreetmaps.org and help uh, volunteer to build a an open map that anyone can use in the entire world. And uh, you'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I'll probably make some other ones on how to do some other different editing, so check out my other videos uh, if you're interested in learning more about OpenStreetMaps and how you can get involved. Thank you and have a great day.